Hello, it's Greg Turner Bullock here from Unleashed Education. Thanks for tuning in to another editing toolbox video. In these videos, we share a quick tip, trick, or technique that is going to help you improve your pet photography editing and make life a bit easier. Today, we're going to take a look at this image, and what we're going to be working on is reducing the appearance of cataracts. Now, this is something that I would always check with the owner before I do it. So if you're working on a shoot for a client, then sometimes you need to check that removing or reducing the cataracts is okay with them because this is part of their dog. It is how they see their dog every day. And sometimes they don't want you to actually fix this. However, other clients will really be quite insistent upon fixing cataracts to make their eyes look nicer. So it needs to be taken case by case. And so I'll show you a couple of different ways. The first way will be to kind of reduce the cataract. Now what we've got basically happening in the eye here is it's just kind of cloudy and milky. There's no real kind of definition. So we do just basically want to put some color and some contrast back into the eye. So I'll take my keyboard and press Command and J, which gives me a duplicated layer. And I think to reduce the appearance of these cataracts, first of all, we want to reduce the exposure here a little bit. I'll just do that with a curves adjustment, which is Command and M, and I will bring that curve down. Now I'm going to end up masking this, so I'm really looking at this really bright kind of milky area here, and I'm trying to get that as dark as I can. Now if we go to a levels adjustment as well, which is a shortcut of Command and L, we can also look at these sliders and just bring in a little bit more contrast here in those mid-tones. And that's probably about right, I think. So then next we'll grab this little um, circle for masking, command and I in virtual mask, and then we can use the brush tool with a white brush selected to paint in these areas that we want to reduce. Now when you look at that, you can also reduce your layer opacity if you need to, if it's a little bit heavy. So I think it is on this one. And actually, I think I'll just press X to change to a black brush and just go a little bit more around here where we're gonna end up probably adding a little bit of color into the eye as well. Next, I'll grab these two layers. I'll press Command and J and Command and E will merge those two layers. So now I have a layer with these adjustments on them and then I'm ready to make my next adjustment which will be adding a little bit of brown. So you can see that, that she's got brown eyes on the other side. So Command and U brings up your hue and saturation panel. And when I'm saying Command, I'm talking about Mac here. If you're using PC, then you're always substituting Command for Control. So basically, I'm ticking Colorize here, and I want to play with the hue and saturation to get a nice kind of richer brown tone. Can bring the lightness down a little bit as well. Let's have a look at that. So I'll mask that, invert that, and then I'll use the brush to paint that in again. Now that looks much too light if you look at the other side. So I'll make a curves adjustment here. Bring that exposure down. And I'll go Command and U again. And I think we need to take the saturation down a little bit too. And maybe even in the reds. So let's merge those together. So that's our before. And that's our after. So we've reduced the appearance of that a lot more, quite significantly different now. So that's one way that you can deal with it. If you have a dog like this one where you've only got one eye that's suffering from cataracts, you can actually just grab the eye with a selection tool. So I just always use patch tool really for, for selecting. It's just like a super duper, supercharged selection tool. 
So make the selection around the eye, press Command and J, and that puts an, a duplicate of that eye onto a new layer. And then we can right click, free transform, right click again, and we can rotate this or flip it, I should say, horizontally. So that has now flipped the eye. If we reduce the opacity on this layer, we can zoom in a little bit closer and have a look at the shape of the eye if we need to change it. We don't really just want to have an exact mirror. So I'll click this tool at the top, which is gonna allow me to warp the eye and just pull the shape a little bit so it matches more with what was there. So now press return. And as we did before, we'll use a mask and we'll just brush away these outside edges, which are kind of hard lines, just to blend it more. And there we go. That's all I've got for you today, guys. A couple of quick ways that you can reduce the appearance of cataracts or remove them. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon for my next editing toolbox video.